recording. Right, the sum of two positive numbers is four and the sum of their cubes is 28. What is the product of the two numbers? Okay, so we want to solve this problem in detail. And so to solve this problem in detail here, uh, there are a couple of things that we most certainly uh, consider um, in an attempt to find uh, the product of the two numbers. Right. One way to do that is to say let x be equal to the first number. Like so. And y be equal to the second number. Remember, we are dealing with two numbers here. Right, so the sum is four. And the sum of their cubes is 28. That means the sum of x and y is four. And the sum of their cubes is 28, like so. All right, you can call this one equation one and call this one equation two. Right, obviously the sum of the cubes, uh, to deal with the sum of the cubes, you can cover up the cubes and um, then have x plus y into you square the x x times y by minus 1, which is minus xy plus y squared. And this equals 28, like so. Call this equation 3. You proceed to say, put 1 into 3. Right, which means you have 4 into x squared minus xy plus y squared and this equals 28. Dividing both left and right by 4 gives us x squared minus xy plus y squared and this equals 7, like so. Meaning that what we have is that we have therefore x squared minus xy plus y squared equals 7. Right, now call this one equation four. Call it equation four, like so. Right, after I've called it equation four, what else do you get? So you have x plus y plus four. Right, and this means that x, is equal to 4 minus y. It's exactly 4 minus y. Like so. Call it equation 5. Okay. And then from these, continue to say put 5 into 4. Right, doing so means that in the place of x, you're going to put 4 minus y, meaning we have 4 minus y, which you square like this. And then you have x, which is 4 minus y. Then there's a y plus the square of y equals 7, which is 16 minus 8y plus y squared minus 4y plus y squared plus y squared equals 7, like this. How many y squareds are there? 1, 2, 3. Right, and this gives us what? It gives us lots of the y squares, but three of them. So we proceed to then say we shall then have 3y squared. What else are we going to have? 3y squared, then you have the eight, the minus 4y and the minus 8y. 
together they give us minus 12. Why? Right, so we have this and we have uh, um, exactly the constant terms. So 16 minus seven giving us plus nine, like so. Dividing both left and right by three means you have y squared minus 4y plus 3 equals 0. Right, so if you multiply y squared by 3, you get 3y squared. We look for two numbers whose products, uh, whose, uh, three, uh, rather two expressions whose product is 3y squared, but whose summation is minus 4y, and those are exactly minus uh, 3y and minus y. And we have plus 3 like so equals 0. Factor out y. And we have exactly y minus 3 here. Factor out. And then you have y minus 3 here like this. And y minus 3 is a common factor. And this is y minus 1 like this. And so what does this mean? This means y equals 3 or y equals 1. Okay. Right, we have got two values of x and y. So in other words, um, if we have that y equals 3 or y equals 1, but what do we have? What do we have? x equals 4 minus y. But x equals 4 minus y. And this therefore means that we can get x, which means it is 4 minus 3 here, and that means x is 1. Or, right, with x equals 4 minus y, you have x equals 4 minus 1. And that means that uh, x equals 3. And so if you had to find the product of the two numbers, because that was the question, the question was, um, what is the product of the two numbers? Right. Hence, the product of the two numbers is right xy. Right, so if you put x here and y, 3, so the product is 3. You can also do it that way. Or you can also say x, y is equal to x here is 3 and the y is 1. And we have x, y is 3. Hence, the product of the two numbers is 3. Right, and we've solved this problem in detail. Thanks, everybody, for your time and attention, and goodbye to you.